When a purchase order has been fulfilled and inventory shipped to you, you must receive the goods to update quantity on hand and generate the vendor invoice. The steps taken and amounts posted will affect the general ledger transaction and which accounts are updated. When purchasing inventory from a vendor, the typical process that occurs is that an open order will be issued so that you can generate a purchase order document to print or email to the vendor. This reveals a receive quantity column on the details grid in preparation for when the goods are delivered to you. You can use the receiving button to set all received quantities equal to what was ordered or what remains to be shipped, or reset all back to zero. Quantities can also be entered manually, which you will need to do when partially receiving the ordered quantity instead of the full amount. If a received item has barcodes available to scan, either a UPC code or a label with a part number or serial number, you can set the received quantity in two other ways. The Scan Items button opens a small screen that recognizes scanning activity. When a barcode with appropriate information is scanned, this increments the received quantity by one. If you first enter a multiplier prior to scanning, then you can increment that quantity value instead of just one. The other way to scan received items is from the Receive Order tab, which is not active when a purchase order has the open status. This screen has a condensed view of the details and indicates which items have not yet been received in full, with the order quantity displayed in red font. When starting entry, you might want to initialize the received values by clicking the zero quantity button. Then you can scan the same kind of barcodes from this screen, receiving the quantity value entered here. Or you can manually enter received quantity values on the grid or make corrections. When an item is fully received, the order quantity font color turns to black. If an inventory item supports serial or lot numbers, Values are connected to the received quantity and must be entered prior to posting. When such an item is highlighted, the Serial Numbers button is active. Entering the received quantity will automatically pop the Serial Numbers screen for you to enter the appropriate serial or lot numbers to match the quantity. Saved Serial Numbers are displayed in the Details area. Similarly, scanning a barcode associated with a serialized item will also open the screen. There are a few other considerations prior to committing an inventory receipt. Enter the receive date to indicate not only when the goods were received, but also to set the transaction date for accounting. If there are any labels you need to print, either to affix to inventory or bins or shelves, you can choose the number to print for each item and the reports for determining which labels you want. And if there are any duty or freight charges associated with the received inventory, ensure that they are entered either on the items or in the purchase footer. The vendor freight amount is what you know this vendor is charging you for the shipment. Landed duty and freight are only approximate amounts that will be charged to you at a later time by a third party. When editing the landed freight or duty amounts, you are given the choice to distribute the amount to all items either by quantity, weight, or cost. When you are ready to commit the quantities, click the Receive button. If user settings allow, you will get a question if you want to enter the vendor invoice at the same time, if you have the vendor document. If not yet, then you can choose No to enter this information later. You then get a question to post GL transaction automatically, if you want to see the journal entry or not for this receipt. With the accrued purchases account credited, and the inventory control account debited. If there is any duty or freight charged, then accounts for each of these will also be credited, with freight going to either an accrual or an expense account, depending on the company setting. When the vendor invoice arrives, you can edit the received purchase order to enter the details. Click the Invoice button to open the entry screen. Enter the total invoice amount from the vendor document, which may be different than what was earlier posted as received. Also enter a freight charge here if it was not previously posted. 
The document number should be entered here for identification, and the payment terms the vendor has given you. The invoice date will be used to calculate the due date and allocate the transaction in the General Ledger Fiscal Calendar. Posting the invoice will debit the accrued purchases for net amount of zero, and credit the invoice amount to accounts payable. Any tax amount on the invoice will be debited, and if the vendor invoice amount is different than what was posted on the receipt, the difference is posted to the inventory variance account specified in company settings. If all ordered items were not fully received, the purchase order remains on this order list with a received status, available to access for future receipts. Fully received purchase orders can be closed if user security allows, and move to purchase history. You might choose not to close the purchase order at this time, perhaps because a correction may need to be applied. In this case, while editing an order, click the close button to complete it, even if all items have not yet been received. For any purchase orders that have inventory quantities received, you can use the Purchase Receipts tab to display information such as the receipt date and quantity. If any invoices have been posted related to this purchase, the Accounts Payable tab will list only the invoice transactions linked to this purchase order. This is useful not only to see the invoice information, but also to determine whether it has been paid or see the ledger transaction. It is possible to receive and invoice a purchase order and bypass the issued status if you don't require to send a purchase order document to the vendor. When an open order is edited, you can click the Receive button to start the receiving and invoice process with all inventory received quantities equal to the full order quantity. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.